Beneath the arid lands of Cappadocia and Turkey lies a secret that defies imagination. A vast underground city hidden for centuries known as Derinkuyu. But this isn't just a network of caves. It's a fully functioning city with a history so mysterious that it raises more questions than answers. Who built it? How did they achieve such architectural brilliance? And most importantly, what secrets does it hold? Today, we're unraveling the enigma of Derinkuyu, one of the most extraordinary archaeological discoveries of all time. In 1963, in a quiet village in the heart of Turkey, a routine home renovation turned into a discovery of epic proportions. While tearing down a wall in his basement, a local man uncovered something astonishing, a narrow passageway leading deep into the ground. Curiosity got the better of him, and as he explored further, he found himself wandering through a maze of tunnels and chambers. This was no ordinary basement. It was the gateway to Derinkuyu, a massive underground city buried deep beneath the earth. To this day, the discovery is hailed as one of the greatest archaeological finds in history. Let's put this into perspective. Daring Kuyu extends to a depth of approximately 85 meters, or 280 feet. That's the height of a 25-story building, but underground. It's not just deep, it's vast. Spanning 18 levels, this underground marvel was designed to house up to 20,000 people, along with their livestock and food supplies. Every aspect of this city was meticulously planned, from its ventilation shafts to its strategic layout. Some of the features include living quarters, homes with beds carved directly into the rock, communal spaces, areas for gatherings, religious ceremonies and schooling, food storage, massive rooms for preserving grains, fruits, and other perishables, worship areas, small chapels with altars still visible today. The engineering of Daring Kuyu is nothing short of a miracle. Over 50 ventilation shafts crisscross the city, ensuring a steady flow of air even at the deepest levels. This was no accident. It was a masterclass in ancient engineering. The city was designed for survival. Massive stone doors weighing up to 500 kilograms could be rolled into place to seal off tunnels. These doors weren't just heavy. They were strategically positioned to make it nearly impossible for invaders to break through. Derinkuyu had its own wells, ensuring a consistent supply of fresh water. What's even more impressive is that these wells were designed to prevent contamination by invaders above ground. The city also included hidden passageways that connected it to other underground cities, providing escape routes if one city was compromised. Why would anyone go to such lengths to build an underground city? Let's explore the theories. Cappadocia was a hot spot for invasions. From the Hittites to the Byzantines, the region saw countless battles. Derinkuyu provided a safe haven where people could survive for months, completely hidden from the surface. During the Byzantine era, Early Christians used these underground cities as refuges from Roman soldiers. Evidence of chapels and religious carvings supports this theory. Some historians believe Derinku was built as protection against natural calamities, such as volcanic eruptions or extreme weather conditions. Despite its grandeur, Derinkuyu remains shrouded in mystery. Who built it? How was it built? Some attribute its construction to the Phrygians, while others believe it was the work of early Christians or even the Hittites. Without definitive records, its origins remain speculative. The soft volcanic rock of Cappadocia made carving easier, but creating a structure this vast and stable without modern tools seems almost superhuman. Today, only eight levels of Derinkuyu are open to the public. Descending into its depths feels like stepping back in time. The air grows cooler, the tunnels narrower, and the sense of mystery thicker. Archaeologists are still discovering new passageways and some believe there's even more to uncover, perhaps hidden levels or forgotten chambers waiting to reveal their secrets. Of course, no mysterious site is complete without some wild theories. Some theorists believe Derinkuyu's advanced engineering was aided by extraterrestrials. The precision of the design and the scale of the city fuel these speculations. Others suggest Derinkuyu might be part of a network of ancient underground cities linked to the lost city of Atlantis. While these ideas are far-fetched, they highlight just how extraordinary Daring Kuyu is. Cappadocia is home to several underground cities, but none compare to Daring Kuyu. Its size, complexity, and defensive features make it a standout among its counterparts. Daring Kuyu isn't just an archaeological wonder, it's a symbol of resilience. For the people of Cappadocia, it represents the ingenuity and determination of their ancestors to survive against all odds. The underground city of Derinkyu stands as one of the most astonishing archaeological discoveries in history, supported by substantial evidence and documentation that confirm its existence and highlight the mysteries surrounding it. This includes archaeological findings, architectural studies, 
historical records, and scientific analyses, all of which are well-documented and accessible. Extensive archaeological research conducted by Turkish and international scientists has further confirmed the existence of this city. The materials used in its construction are primarily composed of tuff, a soft volcanic rock found in the Cappadocia region. This material is relatively easy to carve but hardens over time, providing the structural integrity necessary for such a large-scale underground construction. Detailed studies show that the city's design was deliberate and meticulous, ensuring stability under immense ground pressure and challenging environmental conditions. The Turkish Ministry of Culture has officially recognized Derinkuyu as a historical site. This organization has conducted numerous studies and excavations, which revealed evidence of the city's use as a shelter during times of war and religious persecution. Notably, artifacts and carvings from the Byzantine era suggests that early Christians used the city as a refuge, as indicated by the discovery of chapels, religious symbols, and altars. Scientific papers and studies published in renowned archaeological and engineering journals also provide substantial evidence. For example, the University of Ankara conducted in-depth studies on the city's defensive mechanisms. Researchers particularly emphasized the massive stone doors some weighing up to 500 kilograms, that could seal off corridors. These doors were strategically placed, making it nearly impossible for invaders to breach the city. Historical records further substantiate Derinkuyu's existence and use. Some historians suggest that the initial construction of the city dates back to the Hittite Empire and was later expanded by early Christians. This theory is supported by archaeological findings, such as rudimentary tools and simpler designs in the city's oldest sections. Derinkuyu is not just an ancient city, it is a testament to the extraordinary ingenuity and resilience of its builders. Its advanced ventilation systems, self-sustaining water supply, and defensive architecture highlight a level of sophistication far ahead of its time. Yet mysteries remain. While much has been discovered, its origins, purpose, and inhabitants, questions about unfinished sections, hidden levels, and its connection to other underground cities persist. Was it solely a response to invasion and survival, or does it hold secrets we are yet to uncover? Derinkuyu reminds us that history is layered with enigmas waiting to be explored. What lies beneath may still surprise us. What do you think? Could Derinkuyu hold even more secrets? Share your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like and subscribe for more journeys into the world's most fascinating mysteries.